first thing you need to do is be safe. Disconnect the appliance or turn off the breaker to avoid electric shock. Hello guys, today we're going to be working on a Samsung refrigerator. The model number was just on the display. And today we're going to go ahead and replace this flapper. As you see, I removed the two screws and it has two um, male to female connections, one on the top and one on the bottom. The reason why we're replacing this is because the top part of this flapper uh, broke down. And as you see, I'm halfway here because my phone wasn't recording, but uh, you get the idea. The only thing I have done is remove the, those two screws, which is a harness there because it goes a heat element inside this bar to keep it warm to prevent uh, from creating a condensation. This is the new bar, which I believe it calls flapper, if I'm not mistaken. This is a door flapper. I'm gonna go ahead and get it out of the box. Trying to get it out of this wrapping paper. And here we have our new flapper. We're gonna put it side by side with the old one and you're gonna see the part that has broke down. See that piece is broken and it wasn't closing the way it's supposed to. Now I don't have my GoPro this time, so just bear with me. I'm just gonna go ahead and try to show you the basics. As you see, it has a harness there for the heat element that goes inside. I'm gonna go ahead and sit my phone right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the harness because it went inside the um, door cabinet. I got a needle nose. I got it right there. I'm gonna connect the new flapper. And now what is left is try to put it in place. Again, it has a male to female connection on the top, male to female connection on the bottom. And it holds by two screws. As you see right there, for some reason, it has to be in that uh, measurements. For some reason, that's the way it works, right? Just try to do the best you can. As you see, I'm tapping it with my wire cutter just to get it in in place. I'll go ahead and set my phone in there. Again, I don't like to record with my phone because the image is too um, shaky. But just try to be gentle. Go ahead and tap on the top and the bottom male to female connection into the two um, Phillips screws holes line up to be able to install our two Phillips screws on the middle. It was not easy to those connections to um, line up, but I'm getting there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my drill and the fillet screw and make sure it's just tight. Try not to over tighten it because you can strip the screw. As you see, I already did the one on the top. I'm doing the one on the bottom. This is a very simple repair now you can see the flapper is working the way it's supposed to 
and we're pretty much done. This is a fairly new Samsung refrigerator. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you in any way, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for future videos. Thanks for watching.